Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be showing you how to remove MS Removal Tool on a Windows XP computer. Now, in case you didn't know, MS Removal Tool is a fake security client. Um, all the uh, scan results that you see in here are actually false results. So basically, these warnings are just there to try to scare you into actually making a purchase of this client. And MS Removal Tool, this is uh, not a new scam out there. It's gone by several other names in the past. Uh, System Tool is one of the bigger ones that uh, uh, came out from this. But right now, MS Retool, Removal Tool seems to be hitting the, the web by storm, more or less. Uh, a lot of people get infected with it. And here's another image of uh, one of the false warnings that you're going to see from it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you have to stop the actual process, the executable, that is causing this virus basically to run, that's causing this program to run. So we need to terminate that in order to remove this process. And to do that, there's multiple different ways. For those who can open up the task manager, go ahead and hold down Control, Shift, Escape, and see if the task manager will come up for you. Now, for some it will, especially the very second you lock in to your computer, you may be able to get it to open on you. And if that is the case, great. And what you're looking for is you're going to be looking for a very weirdly named file. And if you're on Windows 7 and Windows Boost, I strongly recommend you read or, or watch our other guide because we show you exactly what to do there on that. So in this instance, this is the actual file for us. And it's going to be a long file name right around 9 to about 14 characters long. It's going to be very weirdly named and and it's pretty easy to pick out just because of the length you shouldn't have really any other file names that are that long and that's the process we actually need to end so I'm just gonna hit end process and we're gonna watch what happens here yes I wanna end it and boom right away you saw that that window closed down if I go down here to the system tool that icon was there now it's gone and it's gone because we were able to remove or not remove that threat but stop that threat from running now for those of you who cannot um, bring up the task manager that's alright here's another way for you to do it you can go to the Windows start button go to run type in ms config and so what that's going to do is it's going to bring a startup menu and even if this menu doesn't come up we'll show you another way to do it and if you if you're really really having troubles be sure and read the manual guide on remove virus.org first and if you still can't do it and you need expert help uh, you can ask your questions there otherwise we recommend out online computer repair.org again it's going to be online computer repair.org um, it's a small computer repair company based out of california they do a really good job and for a very fair price so what i want to do is i want to go under startup items and look here under startup items and this won't be for everybody I need to stress that in here you may actually have that file running so what you can do is you can look under the command and just look for a very very long named file and it might be there for some it might be there might not be there for you but uh, in our case it isn't at this time but chances are it will be uh, in a later edition of this threat that's how it usually mutates out so let's go ahead and show you another way here and this is the default location of this file and irregardless once you stop it with the task manager you'd have to go here anyways and at this point in time I'd recommend you go ahead and boot into safe mode with networking and that way in safe mode this tool the MS removal tool usually will not be running and you'll be able to just delete that file and that's the location we're going to show you here in a second now I'm going to go ahead and go to C we can go to our documents and settings all users and then application data and take note that application data is a hidden folder it's grayed out here to view hidden folders in XP you're gonna to have to hit the Windows tools button folder options we're going to go under view and under view we're right here show hidden files and folders and then just hit OK and now we'll actually be able to see application data otherwise you can manually type it out up here too now we're going to go under application data now what you're looking for is again that same weirdly named uh, folder that file but it's in the folder so if I look at that that's it right there and I can tell just because of the length of it and it, it just it's a bunch of gibberish another way you can do it is by viewing it let me go view let me go details and today is the first or second today's the second so I can actually see 
that uh, this installed on 4.1. So if I look here and say, okay, this is the date modified of the folder, and if you sort by that, you can actually see when uh, the, the file was last used. So j if you're just infected, you can look for anything that was changed that day under the application data folder, and you should be good and you should be able to pick it out. So let me go ahead and open this. Now if you're in safe mode, you can just go ahead and delete these two. If you're in normal mode and this threat is still running, what you can do is you can just go ahead and rename it rename the file and then reboot your computer uh, you cannot delete a file when it's running so either rename it turn your computer off turn it back on come in here and delete it or else boot into safe mode and actually remove it that way so now that I don't have that process running I'm gonna go ahead and stop these or delete these I'm gonna go ahead and delete that folder now And at this point in time, this threat is no longer running on the computer. However, there may be some leftover registry keys. That's okay. They're going to be benign because you already killed off the main executable. But the real threat here uh, may be that you may have some other Trojans and viruses on your computer. Just because you stopped this threat doesn't mean that you eliminated the viruses on your computer. Chances are you probably still have one or two or some other on the system. That's why it's strongly recommended that you go out and you, you actually run an antivirus scan. Now, if you're still having some issues removing MS Removal Tool, head on over to the RemoveVirus.org website. Uh, there, we actually have the manual guide uh, for you to follow along with, as well as a few other videos and the like that will really help you out. And the manual guide is also going to have any of the updates and some extra tidbits and tricks. And while you're there, be sure and hit the Facebook like button. That just helps build social proof for our site. And uh, also, uh, the antivirus clients that we recommend is going to be StopZilla and then Spyro Doctor with Antivirus. And you can go ahead and download StopZilla right from our website. If you want to make a purchase of either of these clients, uh, RemoveVirus.org does make money off of that, and that's how we can continue to write these free guides and actually do research and the like on these other threats that are coming out. And I did go in ahead and I ran a full scan here. And as you can see, it did find quite a bit of stuff. Now, everybody's going to be a little different. You may not have the Google redirect. You may have the Google redirect. It just depends ultimately what Trojan actually installed the MS removal tool or if you were tricked into making the install uh, via video codec or update, something along the lines. It just depends how ultimately you got infected, whether you will have anything else on the system. That's why it's so important to run a scan. So you know, hey, yes, I do have a Trojan that's tracking me online or not. Uh, and the uh, nice thing about StopZilla is it does actually quarantine the threats. No, it doesn't remove it. Um, it will if you actually make a purchase of it. Otherwise, the free version just quarantines it. Uh, most antivirus clients are used that way. They have the free scan, and they'll show you the results, but they won't even quarantine it. you got to pay for that to happen. Um, but StopZilla does automatically quarantine threats. So, hey, um, it's better than nothing. Otherwise, we do like StopZilla. It does a really, really good job of not only protecting you on the front end, but also on the back end, too. So if you're actually infected with MS Removal Tool and something else, it can really help uh, actually remove that threat. And I should also mention here that uh, StopZilla is one of the few antivirus makers out there that actually uh, write their software so it can punch through a lot of viruses. So yeah, how you have but well, no other program will run when MS Removal Tool is running. However, StopZilla is one of the few programs that you may be able to install, and I know they're working on a, on a fix for it right now, so it can install and punch through the MS Removal Tool and quarantine it right away for you. So that's really cool, because no other antivirus maker that I'm aware of actually does that. Well, that's all I have. Uh, be sure and stop over to RemoveVirus.org. Hit the Facebook Like button if we were able to help you out. And feel free and ask any questions you have on the RemoveVirus.org website, too. Uh, we always try to answer any questions over there. And that is it. I hope it helped. Take care.